Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Okay, impromptu journal. <laughs> I wanted to use some of these. Um, you may have seen these around. They've been on my community page and other places. Um, yeah, it's paper marbling on book page. Um, I came across this little box that um, was a camera box and of course it is almost a square. It was almost a cube sort of box so um, I'm gonna make a journal out of it so it's gonna be almost as tall and wide as it is thick the spine is almost as wide as the covers are so um, yeah it's gonna be an interesting shaped little journal and what I want to do is cover it with these um, bits of marbled paper so um, kind of like an old book but instead of using the marble paper on the inside of the cover I'm going to use it on the outside because why not <laughs> so let's get this cover organized and then we'll get um, yeah moving on selecting some pages for it now my idea with this journal is basically to put in everything that I can find <laughs> I have a magazine rack in front of me. I'm going to be pulling a bunch of stuff from that. When I finish pulling stuff from that, I'm going to go to my filing cabinet and pull stuff. But it's all going to be pretty much decorative papers. Um, I just want to use some stuff and I just want to make an interesting journal. Almost like a journal you could put on the shelf and then when you want to decorate something, you would pull this journal out and start tearing it apart. Because that's what it is. It's full of odd bod papers it's not really a writing journal it's not really an art journal it's just a paper storage journal <laughs> you could most definitely use it as a writing journal you would probably just you know put some lined paper or blank paper on some of the pages um, there will be a few plain pages in there so who knows but it's going to be an interesting journal anyway because it's an odd shape so anyway I'm going to cover this cover and um, of course these pieces of paper are not big enough to cover the whole thing and you know I've said before I'm not keen on using paper entirely for a book cover because I am always concerned that it will crack down the spine where the cover and the spine meet and it has to flex a lot so I am going to cover the front and back cover with this um, marbled paper and then I'm going to put a piece of fabric over the spine and yeah, just slightly around the edges. So anyway, it's going to be a uh, exposed spine journal. There is not going to be a hidden spine. So um, you will see all the stitching on the outside. So anyway, let's do it.
I decided because the cover is super busy um, and the pages inside are going to be very decorative as well, I am just going to use a bit of plain coffee dyed paper for the inside of the front and back covers. Um, I'm just using a piece of old office paper that's been coffee dyed and yeah, I'm just going to stick it down with the glue stick and where it does overlap the fabric, I will use a little bit of acetone based glue to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, well that's the cover constructed. Um, now all we have to do is select some pages.
Okay, well that's some interesting pages chosen, but our video is getting a little long now, so I will choose the rest off camera and I will come back tomorrow and show you what it is I have chosen. So, yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting little journal. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate your company as I always do, and I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.